for the gift of her husband Francis on his birthday today. She thanks God for all the blessings received, especially the gift of good health, children, peace in the family, and she prays for all the souls in purgatory. Kate Kovsinje offers this mass for her son Nsima Collins, who is sitting for his exams to excel with the guidance of the Holy Spirit. She also prays that the, she prays for favor of God to continue to be upon him and make him fruitful in all his undertakings. Waswa Lawrence gives thanks to God for the gift of life and all the blessings in his life. He prays and asks God to bless all his plans. He also prays for the souls of Namuli, Josephine, Lawrence, Brother Cosmas, Ochan, and all the souls to rest in peace. Sister Santina Achan, Odir, and the family prays for the soul of their father, Jacinto Odir, and the soul of Reverend Father Cyprian Odong, and all the souls in purgatory to rest in peace, and she pray that the Lord bless and protect the families. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers, let us acknowledge that we are sinners and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God. And to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Be present to your family, O Lord, we pray. And graciously ensure those you have endured with the grace of faith an eternal share in the resurrection of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. First reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On that day, a great persecution arose against the church in Jerusalem, and they were all scattered throughout the region of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. Devout men buried Stephen and made great lamentation over him. But Saul laid waste the church, and entering house after house, he dragged off men and women and committed them to prison. Now those who were scattered went about preaching the word, went about preaching the word. Philip went down to a city of Samaria and proclaimed them the Christ. And the multitude, with one accord, gave heed to what he was, he was said by Philip. When they heard him and saw the signs which he did, for unclean spirits came out of many who were possessed, crying with a loud voice, and many who were paralyzed, all lame, were healed. 
So there was much joy in that city. The word of the Lord. Responsorial psalm, our response. Cry out with joy to God all the earth. Cry out with joy to God all the earth. Cry out with joy to God all the earth. All sing to the glory of his name. All render him glorious praise. Say to God, how awesome you are deeds. Cry out with joy to God all the earth. Before you all the earth shall bow down, shall sing to you, sing to your name. Come and see the works of God. How some his deeds among the children of men. Cry out with joy to God all the earth. He turned the sea into dry land. They passed through the river on foot. Let us, let our joy then be in him. He rules for, forever by his might. Cry out with joy to God all the earth. We raise up for gospel acclamation. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. At that time, Jesus said to the crowds, I'm the bread of life. He who comes to me shall not hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. But I say to you that you have seen me, and yet you do not believe. All that the Father gives me will come to me, and him who comes to me I will not cast out. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, but to raise it up at the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him should have eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, today we hear Jesus Christ explaining the purpose, his manifesto, why he came into this world to do the will of the Father. And we have heard the will of the Father is indeed that everybody is saved. Everybody received life, receives life in him. And he, he was committed this uh, mission. He was able to pay any cost until it is fulfilled. And he did it in words and action until he laid his body on the cross. And once this happened, some people thought that was the end. Jesus has died, and now the mission is, is over. And uh, it wasn't over. Like Daniel Combod, what he said, I die, but my mission will continue. Seeming on the cross, one would think this mission is over. It has gone with Jesus because those that were around him he had called, they were a bit timid, and they had even run away from him. So seeing Jesus Christ on the cross alone there, near him, on Mary and, the, and John, one would think this is the end of the, of the mission of God. But you know, the mission of God cannot die. After he has resurrected, the apostles are empowered by the Holy Spirit, and we hear what they are doing. 
The first Christians are being uh, persecuted, beginning with St. Uh, Stephen that we had yesterday who died. And one would think, ah, since they have killed this one, people are going to fear and they live all about their faith. But nothing. They were persecuted, but wherever they went, we have heard that they went to, to Judea and other places, and wherever they went, they spread the good news. They continued to preach by their words and their actions without fear in those places, and the church grew. Philip went to the side of the Samaritans, and we have heard he did great. He did wonders. Also because he found some people had known about Jesus, if you remember that Jesus had healed the other lepers, he had healed some, he had touched so many people who were from that part of Samaritan towns. So the message continues to spread, even when Jesus has died, and uh, this message will not will go from Jerusalem, go, it has gone these places. It will continue up to Rome. And from Rome, we know for sure, the missionaries will bring it to other parts of the world. This was the will of the Father. So let us get courage. Uh, let us be encouraged that as long as we are doing the will of God, no one should stop. The church in history has had several problems like this church as we have had. It has had challenges from within and even, without, uh, even out. But nothing can stop the mission of the church. The church will continue to fulfill this mission of God, which is that everybody should be saved. May the God give us this spirit, may he give us courage, that we may continue doing uh, what he has asked us to do, the different missions that each one of us is doing, let us not be intimidated by any obstacle, by anybody, but let us be encouraged like these apostles that we are with the Spirit, we are with God, and we continue to go about fulfilling the mission that the Lord wants us to fulfill in this life. This is thanksgiving of amazing grace, of amazing grace, of amazing grace, wonderful grace. Thanksgiving of amazing grace, of amazing grace. Lord, bless the works of heaven's amazing grace. This is thanksgiving of amazing grace. Of amazing grace, of amazing grace, wonderful grace, thanksgiving of amazing grace, of amazing grace, Lord bless the works of one's amazing grace. The earth is the Lord's and everything it is. The world and all who live in it. For he founded it upon the sea and established it upon the waters. Amazing works of your hands. Bless you, Lord. This is thanksgiving of amazing grace, of amazing grace, of amazing grace, wonderful grace. Thanksgiving of amazing grace, of amazing grace. Lord, bless the works of one's amazing grace. Pray, my son and brother, my sacrifice, and you as may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, 
that we may always find light in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constant at work within us may be the cause of our ending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and, and just. just. It is right and just. I do thank our salvation at all times. I claim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to loud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life. And the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open the faithful, for his death is our ransom from death, and his rising, the life of all, has risen. Therefore, overcome with the Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed the Holy O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make all therefore these gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them, may you for. So then become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered the wedding into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave to the disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. Which I saw my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of death and resurrection offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to avoid us who to be in your presence and minister to you, humbly we beseech you, that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember your church spread throughout the world and bring out the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember brothers and sisters who are falling asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially those who death anniversary occur today, and for all those that were prayed for in a special way. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face, have mercy on us, all we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who are praised you throughout the ages, we may be made to be co heir to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all grand honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracious, grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, 
we may be already free from sin and safe from all distress as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, the body who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say, say a word, and my soul shall be healed. May the blood and blood of Christ keep us safe and bring us to eternal life. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. Hear, O oh Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in the present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our masses and let us go to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day. Same to you, Father. of your life is shining in the midst of the darkness shining jesus light of the world shine upon us set us free by the truth you now bring us shine on me shine on me shine, shine jesus shine fill this light the Father's glory, bless Spirit, bless, set our hearts on fire. Flow, river, flow, flood the nations with grace and mercy. Send forth your word, Lord, and let there be light. To your awesome presence From the shadows into your radiance By your blood I may enter your blindness Search me, try me, consume all my darkness Shine on me Shine on me Shine on me Shine, Jesus, shine Fill this land with the Father's glory, bless Spirit, bless, set our hearts on fire. Flow, river, flow, flood thy nations with grace and mercy. 
send forth your word.